welcome to est 120 the course basic civil engineering this is a course which is common for all the first year engineering students of the kerala technology university so let's see the course outcomes so the as per the new curriculum 2019 this syllabus is made for achieving some of the outcomes. So for the civil engineering course, there are mainly four outcomes. The course outcome one is to recall the role of civil engineer in the society and to relate the various disciplines of civil engineer. So by studying this course, a student will be knowing what are the various work done by the civil engineer in the society and what are the subdivisions of civil engineering. In the course outcome 2 is about explaining different types of building, building components, building materials and the building construction. So as you all know making a building is one of the very basic work of a civil engineer so by doing these goals the student will be knowing about the various types of buildings such as residential uh, business buildings uh, institutional buildings and what are the various components of a single building like what is the component below the earth what are the components above the earth its subdivisions and the various building materials used for making the building and also on the various construction steps the fourth sorry the third course outcome is to describe the importance objectives and principles of surveying so you should know that every construction will be done after a proper surveying of the land it can be a survey for building for road construction and so other other type of constructions so the person studying this course will be knowing the importance and the various types of survey used for the purposes and its objectives the course outcome 4 is basically to summarize the basic infrastructure services such as MEP, mechanical, electrical, plumbing, HVAC, elevators, escalators and the ramps which are some building uh, uh, requirements like uh, the, for the uh, facilities provided for the building. So we will see the assessment pattern. So for the course EST 120 the total marks will be 150 out of the 150 50 will be the internal marks and 100 will be the external university examination so uh, as you are knowing that this is a common course or combined course with basic civil and the basic mechanical engineering so only half of the 150 will be awarded from the civil engineering course that's why i divided all the marks by two so there will be 25 marks in general for the civil engineering and out of 100 50 marks will be from the basic civil engineering and you have to write both the papers in a single examination but in two sheets the total in general evaluation pattern consists of the attendance mark is 10 and for the continuous assessment we are having two examination and for the assignment and quiz and project we have 15 marks so everything will be halved for the basic civil engineering course so Skipping to the uh, syllabus, so for the 
module one of basic civil engineering course will be learning about the relevance of civil engineering in the overall infrastructural development of the country then the responsibility of an engineer in ensuring the safety of the build environment then uh, the brief introduction to the major disciplines of civil engineering like the transportation engineering structural engineering geotechnical engineering water resources engineering and environmental engineering so these are the sub disciplines of the big civil engineering and the introduction to buildings also comes in the module 1 a detailed class is there on the types of building selection of site for the buildings and the various components of a residential building and their functions this module also includes the various building rules and regulations to be followed for building home or any other uh, building in the site so we should learn about the relevance of the national building code which specifies the criteria to be followed in making a building and there is kerala building rule which is specifically for the kerala state and the cr iset norms it is coastal regulation norms which is applicable for the constructions near to the coastal areas we'll be also studying the building areas like plinth area built up area floor area carpet area and floor area ratio for a building as per the kerala building rule so let's get introduced to the civil engineering the civil engineering is a professional engineering discipline that deals with the design construction and maintenance of the public or private utility works so anything that has to be built on the earth or even beneath the earth comes under the civil engineering so you can see this image showing the various dimensions or various subdivisions which falls under the civil engineering we will see in detail before that we will see the impact of infrastructural development of a country so what is the role of a civil engineer or what of role of civil engineering in the total infrastructural development of a country so civil engineering helps in increasing the food production production from the drought and flood healthy and comfortable housing facility safe domestic and industrial water supply safe and scientific waste based disposal improvement in communication and transportation generation of electricity from nuclear hydel thermal solar or wind energy improved wealth prosperity and standard of living overall growth of a nation so these achievements or these benefits are provided by improving the infrastructure of a country so what is the role of a civil engineering in providing the infrastructure so the civil engineering helps in the overall infrastructure by building or constructing of roads railways ports harbors and airport by the construction of dams and proper utilization of water resources construction of housing commercial and industrial complexes by rebuilding rehabilitation 
retrofitting and repairing is basically if something got destroyed it's again strengthening it to the uh, initial level and also on the maintenance of the facility what is the responsibility of an engineer specifically a civil engineer in ensuring the safety of the build environment so the build environment as per the definition are the human made spaces in which people live work and recreate on a day to day basis so the responsibilities of an engineer includes to make sure that all the installations or constructions are as per the safety standards during the construction he should identify the unguarded openings and rectify it he should place the warning instructions displayed in place and it should be legible so the disciplines of civil engineering in detail we will see in the next class